My name is Rick Robinson. I'm the uh, marketing guy at Vision Research, and I'd like to talk to you today a little about our newest camera. It's called the Phantom Miro M320S. Well, you start with the, the body of the, of the camera, and uh, again, it's pretty simple. You've got three choices. Uh, you could, well, actually, you have more than three choices. You can choose color or monochrome, but I think most people are going to want a color camera. Um, uh, some of our scientific customers actually do prefer monochrome because you'll get a higher uh, sensitivity out of that. But for, for this marketplace, I think uh, most people are going to want color. So putting that aside, you have uh, one choice to make, and that is do I want 3 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, or 12 gigabytes of internal memory. Uh, the price has started at about 44000 go up to about 49000 depending upon what kind of memory or how much memory you want. It's about $500 per gigabyte. The next choice you have, to, and then when you do that, when you order that, you're going to get the camera body, you're going to get a battery, you're going to get all of the, the battery charger, you're going to get all the cables, the software, everything you need. Then you need to make two more choices. One is, what lens mount do I want? Uh, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, we support four different lens mounts. There's the EOS mount, there's the PL mount, which I think will be the most popular. Both of those are uh, extra charge options. If you choose to go with a 1-inch C-mount or a Nikon manual F-mount, that's actually built into the price of the camera, and you could get, choose either of those at no additional charge. I also showed the Cine Flash module. The camera does come standard with a 60-gig Cine Flash module, but if you want a 120 instead of the 60, you can get the 120 for an extra $800. If you want to go to the 240, it's a bit more um, because the higher density flash is, is more expensive. So you can do a complete outfit here, maybe with a PL mount, a 120 gig Cine flash, 12 gigs of memory, and you're going to be in roughly the 50K price range. So this, the Cine flash is right in here. You, you just open the door, you grab it like that and pull it out, and then you can take the Cine flash and put it in a docking station that connects to a PC via an eSATA connection. Now, once you've done that, then the Cine files that you shot and saved on the Cine Flash will be available as, as files. The, this Cine Flash will actually mount as a disk drive, and those files are immediately available to drag and drop off of the Cine Flash right onto uh, your computer storage, or even directly, you know, into uh, into your editing suite. Uh, let me also mention the the RCU because this is uh, a popular way to set up the camera and uh, control the camera. It's a very simple system, actually. You start off on the home screen with four options. You can get status, you can do setup, you can do capture, and you can do play. Uh, setup is where you would set your frame rates. Your, whoops, uh, yeah, it's where, it's where you would set your frame rates, your exposure, um, your, your uh, resolution, etc. Once you've got all that set up, then you're ready to go into a capture mode, really all that happens in capture mode is you can do a CSR to get a black reference and you can, let me make this bigger, and you can uh, trigger the camera from whatever triggering you want to even from the remote control. Once you've done that, then you uh, can move into the play mode and here you get a full suite of video controls. I have a Cine stored in the camera, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it playing now and you can see that it started on the monitor. I can even scrub through this by grabbing it with my finger or using the, the jog dial on the side to just scrub through. I can set in points and out points. Once I've set those, then I can save the, uh, the resulting frames uh, to the Cine Flash and I'm ready to take my next shot.